So, thrower versus thrower. Here are some signs you're fighting a thrower, okay? They come on, they come onto the mat, they tap their armpits like this. That's a judo guy. Because judo guys are not allowed to do this. That's illegal in judo, okay? But if a judo guy comes onto the mat and he taps his armpits, which is legal in judo as far as I know, see how it makes my kimono go further up? If he taps his armpits like this, that's a judo guy. If he, if he protects his one, if he does this and protects his one lapel, he's protecting you from gripping him. That's a judo guy, right? So you know that's a thrower, especially if he's wearing a, a tarantula or possibly a fushu, right? Um, <clears throat> and bear in mind also, this is not striking. How you take down a striker is totally different than how you take down a guy, you know, in a jiu-jitsu man. Okay, so also, here's his body type. Is he taller than you or is he shorter than you, okay? Because he's the same height as you, right? If he's taller than you, you're going to grab his lapel, like here. If he's shorter than you, you're going to grab here, like so, okay? Like put a leg forward and you're, you're here, right? You see what I mean? The first thing you're going to do is your hand's going to come up and you're going to grab here. Because of gravity, he goes Because of gravity, because of gravity, he's going to be here and here, right? You're going to grab thus. thus. This is move one. Boom. Right? And move two is this one. Everybody goes in, he's shorter than you, and the fourth over. You see what I mean? And then you have to see how his legs are standing. Okay, the first one I'm going to show you is Osoto. You step, and you're here, and you get it. Right? Then you have knee on belly or whatever. Okay? And bear in mind, I always talk about this when throwing. There's different directions you can throw a guy. Right? And I like to do the corners. One, two, three, four. Right? So this way is Osoto. We're standing here. I go one, two, three, four. Assuming he's not, like I said, he's not shooting, he's not pulling, He's engaging you in throwing. You've elected to say, okay, let's do some throws. Okay, that's one. Okay? Let's say he's standing with this leg back and this leg forward. He's here. Do I want to go for Osoto here? No, because the negative space is, he's going to put me into it. This one is here. It's this leg. Right? So from here, you put your feet together, and then you hook here, and then you push. Ouchi. Okay? So, Osoto, Uchi, this way, you have here and here, you're going to step and you're going to block the outside of this shin here. And then you push up and pull down. There's a Garuma, okay? So, Osoto, Uchi, right? His, his it doesn't really matter because you can big step in that direction anyway. You see what I mean? If he had that leg forward, like this, his would be here. If he had this leg back, his it is here. You see what I mean? You push this one up and pull this one down. Okay? And then the last one, so we've done Osoto, Uchi, his a. The last one is in this direction. Okay? And that one can be one of two things. Well, one of a couple of different ones. It can be Uchimada in that direction. Right? It can be Harai in that direction, or if the guy's mega tall and you have this grip, it can be just a hip toss. Okay? But that one is only available if there's something to go up against. If he's here, you see what I mean? Because now there's something to get against. If he's here, this is not, right? You see what I mean? You follow me? So that's basic. Thrower versus thrower that I think is high percentage. Okay?